fiance questions by category. I feel like you get asked the same questions all the time. People all up in your business and saying the same <laughs> damn thing all the time. So we're gonna change it up. Uh oh. Y'all ready for a different interview with Beyonce? <laughs> Okay. Let me fix your hair. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Mama Tyra. Mama Tyra. <laughs> okay. The first category is Beyonce, my name, say my name. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was so lovely. I should be on American Idol. <laughs> okay. First one. Beyonce. When was the last time you bought something in a store? on your own, no like people getting it, and what did you buy? This is really, really embarrassing that you asked me this. Why? Because I have a, a ritual, me and my friends, whenever, if, if Jay's album or my sister, Kelly Michelle, anyone's album comes out, we all go out and buy 20 of this, the record. And I actually went and bought 20 of my own. Are you serious? <laughs> And, and it was just me, and I pulled out my card, and I went to the register, and I bought 20 of my record. Oh, my God. Were they, like, were they happy? Were they like, dang, what's up with Beyonce? They, they actually told me I could only buy one because they didn't want to run out of the records in the store. No, they didn't. Yeah, it was actually, it was posted in the store when you can only buy one Beyonce album, and I was like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> that's not right. But that's actually a beautiful thing that they're saying you can only buy one because th cause that means it's really, really popular and they want I, people to be, everybody be able to get a little bit of Beyonce. I, I guess that's true. Very nice. <laughs> so who'd you go to the store? Did you go with Kelly? I went with just my, 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 my assistant. Your yeah. assistant. Yeah. Your cousin. Yeah. Her assistant's her cousin. <laughs> she keeping it in the family, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next question. Say on say. If you could communicate with anybody that has passed away, oh. who would it be? That is a great question. Probably my grandmother. Your grandmother. Yeah. What was yeah. her name? Uh, Agnes Darion. And oh, yes. It's where we, we named our um, clothing line after her. And I never got a chance to meet her. Oh, you never oh, met no, her? No, I have all the pictures and all the great stories. But you never met her. No. Can you imagine? what she is thinking up there in heaven, seeing her babies. I can only imagine. Like, yeah. oh my God, she's like, my baby and, and, and the name of the clothes is me. <laughs> like, her name is on everybody's booty. It's just... In the jeans. <laughs> I don't know if she'd be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next thing. Brionce, what's your favorite type of cheese? I love cheese. Really? So, oh my God, <laughs> cheese down. Blue, yellow, American. You know, I just like regular yellow cheddar cheese. <laughs> just cheddar cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I always request, request the regular bread and the regular yellow cheddar cheese. The regular yellow <laughs> cheddar cheese. Okay, next one is Grayonce. When you get old, der. <laughs> you don't want to tell a star when you get old. When you get older, are you going to dye your hair? Wow. I don't know. I'm sure, it, I think it's so beautiful when women have the gray bobs. It's so chic. So I think if, if I go, if I'm all the way gray, then I would probably do the have gray a, bob. a nice chic bob. Yeah. My mama loves gray. My mom has a lot of gray and she won't dye her hair and she wants it to all be white. I would want You would it want to that too? Oh my god, yeah. mama, Beyonce saying that she wants a gray bob <laughs> like I you. Understand. <laughs> you understand. I understand. It's nice. Okay, the next one is Wayonce. We know that you gained your mama was on the Tyra show because she does makeovers on the Tyra show. We she call them Tina time. Takeover Makeovers here. And uh, yeah, give it up for Tina. <laughs> Jewelry today is by Tina, Miss That's Tina, so nice. your mama's jewelry. <laughs> okay, so your mom said that you gained a lot of weight to play Etta James in Cadillac Records. I did. How did you lose it? Well, um, it was a lot easier knowing I had a record coming out and I had to do a lot of dancing. Preparing for that video was a lot. Um, and, you know, it's the same boring. I wake up and have cereal and then I have a sandwich and then fish and, and vegetables and only water and crystal light and... You know, no sugar, no no alcohol, no anything that tastes really delicious. I couldn't Can't go do for it. it. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay. The next category is Clayonce. Have you ever voted on American Idol? I haven't. No. Never. Okay. Who's your favorite American Idol? Uh, absolutely, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> is inspired by your new album. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> this category, this category is so 
Sasha Fierce, darling. Fierce. Fierce. So the next one is Slasha Fierce. <laughs> when was the last time you was a little tipsy? <laughs> um, probably my birthday. Really? Yes. <laughs> I actually went swimming and it was so much fun. <laughs> I had wine and I was swimming and I'm like, life is wonderful. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask you, what's your drink of choice? Okay, you said so it was wine. Was it red wine or red white wine? wine? Red yeah, wine. I love red wine. You like it sweet or do you like it dry? I like it dry. You I like, like it dry. Patrice. Patrice? Yes. Oh. It's very good. I'm gonna have to get you some. Yeah, I don't drink, but you I'll take drink? a little sip. I don't drink, but I'll take sip. a little sip. Yeah, a little I'll, sip. Yeah, I'll say give me a drink. I've got to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one is squash of fierce. <laughs> what sport do you like to play? Don't y'all like these questions? <laughs> what, so cute. What sport do you like to play? Um, you know, I really love flag football. <laughs> flag football? Yeah, it's, you know, I can't play football, so it's cute. You have the little the flags, flags and you pull them off. And, yeah. <laughs> nice. I can actually play that. You play that. <laughs> okay, the next one is Pasha Fierce. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? <laughs> hmm. I mean, Pasha is just very fierce. She, in every picture. She's Do you guys like, notice that? Yes. <laughs> It'll be with, I've seen her with baby strollers. Oh, yes. Walking down the street and Always. she's like. <laughs> She has it. She so, works. She does work. I love Mel B too. She's fine. Her body is yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Speaking of bodies, you got the body, baby. You got the no. body. Let, well, let me tell you what I like about your body, because I think our bodies are similar, but what I like about your body is you have a calf. I don't have calves. You have calves. Look at this. That is what you call a it's chicken. because it's so long. But it is, I, I want some of yours on the back. <laughs> like if we could do like Beyonce calf implants, if those were on the market, child, I'd be going for it. I say, so what, y'all? Shoot, I don't care. I got Beyonce calves. Okay, the next one is Washa Fierce. Do you sing in the shower? And if you do, what songs do you sing? I always sing in the shower. Are you serious? Yes, um, the Whitney Houston song. It, I think it's I Will Always Love You. <laughs> you know, because in the beginning, it's the nice reverb in the shower. Kitchen. Yes. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, this... <laughs> but I definitely do. <laughs> you know what's so funny is, Everybody sounds good in the shower. Yeah. Like, I sound like Beyonce up in the shower, I gotta tell you. So, if everybody sounds good in the shower, I can only imagine what you sound like in the shower. It must be like, I don't know, Leontine Pride. <laughs> okay, next one is Josh Fierce. Which Josh do you think is sexier? Okay. Josh Brolin, who just played W, George Bush in a movie, or Josh Lucas, both actors. Which one do you think is sexier? That's really, really hard. Josh, mmm. <laughs> Depends maybe, on if maybe Lu Lucas is hot, but 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 he's a man. <laughs> Josh is a man. Brolin. Brolin. Brolin, Brolin. Brolin is a man. He I, I a go man. with the man. You're a man. Yeah, girl. <laughs> I'd have to agree. Yeah. I'd have to agree. Okay, last one is Sasha Pierce. What else is pierced on your body besides your ears and your navel? Um, sorry, that, that's it. Yeah? <laughs> no little piercing on the, the tip of the... I'm good. I have to tell you this story. My mother, this was really, really wrong, and I'm sure one day my children are going to give me back. I wanted um, to get my ears pierced, and I had five piercings in both ears. I got it done at Claire's with the, with the gun. You had that? Five. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> my ears were on fire. And I didn't ask my mother, and I was a teenager, and I didn't do those type of things. So yeah. I was like, she's going to kill me. So I went and got a magnet and put it in my nose. And she was going to whoop me in the store. <laughs> you really wanted to say beat your ass. I'll yeah, say it for you. Definitely. <laughs> so she was so happy that it was a magnet that she didn't really care no. about the area. Oh, wow. But I had to pay because every time, I, when I tried to sleep, I mean, I couldn't sleep this Pain. side, I couldn't sleep this side. <laughs> so, I took them out after two days and I had to... I don't see any hole work, well, Probably though. because I took them out so after two early. days. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, 
I think you're super duper special. Like, you know, I love you. I love you to death. Thank you, Tyra. I love and, you um, too. Your album is called Sasha Fierce. And you know on Top Model, we've been saying fierce, 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 fierce. But let me tell you something. Your daddy said that I was an honorary Knowles. I know. So whenever your mama comes on, I'm like, my mama Tina. Solange comes on, I'm like, my little sister. <laughs> Solange. And I think you're my big little sister. Because Solange's my little, little sister. And you are truly, truly fierce. Thank like, you. you are the epitome of fierceness. And we do something on the Tyra show where we have an award show called The Fierces. Since you are truly fierce and my little sister. and we're asking her things that she's never been asked in any of her interviews. We're trying to flip the script up in here. Okay, our next category is named after Beyonce's hit single, If I Were a Boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first question. If I were a toy, what was your favorite toy that you played with when you were a little kid, when you were I a little kid? I loved people? the Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, me too. And I had the, uh, the My Little Pony lunchbox. You did? Yes. <laughs> did you do the hair of the Cabbage Patch? Well, they had yarn hair. They you had the really yarn, yeah. Much. And and the ball spot in the middle? Of the <laughs> yes, what was that? I don't understand that. Oh, my that. God, do you guys remember the Cabbage Patch? <laughs> they would comb the yarn over it, and then if you lifted that yarn, child looked like my forehead. <laughs> it was just like nothing there. OK, the next one is, if I were a hoy. I know that you like to take vacations on boats because the paparazzi all up in your business oh, showing Beyonce jump three stories from the top of the boat into the ocean, which I can't <laughs> even do one story, let alone three. But do you get seasick? Um, I don't, but I do get motion sickness in the car. But not on the boat? Not on the boat, thank God. So when you're in the limo, do you have to sit like with your facing forward? I usually, I can't read in the, in the car. Yeah. Um, and if I sit the opposite way, it's I'm, over. It's over. Yeah. I have a trick for seasick or car sickness. Really? Yes. If you have to read something, say, I don't know, there's thing, interviews, right. things you have to do in the car. You got to work in the right. car. You lean back like this. This is for everybody. You lean back like this. You lift the book or the papers up and you look up. Oh, so you don't see Yes. Everything. It helps you with the horizon and stuff. Right. Look up, up, up. The minute you do that, it's like. <laughs> wow. Don't look down. Stay up. And you'll be That's able to do that for about great, 20 minutes. Great tip. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm definitely using You're that. You're going to use that? <laughs> it does work. OK, next one. If I were Tolstoy, can you do a Russian accent? <laughs> <laughs> can I do a Russian <laughs> I don't know if my Russian accent is very good. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. <laughs> you have to put the bass in your voice. Yes. <laughs> Any other accents? Any other ones? Uh, <laughs> um, you know what I can do is um, Aaron Neville. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, you have to do it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. I don't know much. <laughs> but I know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what that sounded like to me? What? That sounded like if Aaron Neville and Celine Dion had a baby. <laughs> comes from your upcoming film, Cadillac Records. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Fadillac. What fad did you succumb to when you were young, like earlier in life? Um, it was a lot of things that I should not have ever, ever <laughs> tried. Um, I loved my, my hair and bone um, flat chain and my um, holy jeans and my neon colors. You, did you do the neon? I definitely Ooh. did the neon every single day, the polka dots <laughs> and the big earrings and everything. You still do big earrings. I, I love, love big your, earrings. I love the big earrings. Yeah, because my ears are kind of big. So my <laughs> earrings, when they're bigger than my ears, they make, make it look, look smaller. smaller. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I had a 
facial expert on the Tyra show recently. She said that big ears mean that people are good listeners. Okay. She did say that. Well, I think I'm a pretty good listener. Are you a good listener? <laughs> good. Okay, this is the final category. We all know that your mom, Tina, has a fashion line, and it's called House of Darion, right? <laughs> so we're going to use that as our next theme, Spouse of Darion. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a wedding gift. Aww. Yes. That is so nice. Come on out. This is the best wedding gift you have ever had, girl. <laughs> it, is a, it is a Jay Z boy chair! A Jay Z boy chair! Isn't that great? What do you think? I love it. Isn't that fantastic? I think it's great. Oh, don't get too close. Okay. I'm just kidding. We'll be right back. We're back with Beyonce. Now, Beyonce, I have to tell you something. I, I, I love and respect that you are so private about your personal life with your man and all that. I think that is the only way that you can to me in this industry to say sacred and to and to and to make sure that it is your relationship relationship <laughs> and not the world's relationship so i have something to tell you um remember we there was that basketball game we went to we didn't go together yeah. but we actually ended up sitting right next to each other i have a little secret for you after that basketball game i left a little early and you and jay were still there i left early and you're like why are you leaving early and i'm like i just gotta go somewhere so here's my secret And that's my that secret, and it so was nice. had something to do with you with that day. It had to do with secrets and relationships and who I met that night and whatever. Oh, but that was great. it was the night of the basketball wow. game. Wow. Yeah. Which brings me to single ladies, because people, I mean, I'm single, she ain't. But anyway, um, I'm not married, but I, you know, got it, I mean, but okay, but anyway. Um, what I love is that you're married now, and you did that song single ladies and pointing to the ring to me how i took it as is you're you are living this beautiful dream you have this beautiful man you're happy but enough about that but the thing is i think that you're like pointing to it to the world saying and you go get yours girl Absolutely. like kind of telling the world i'm happy and every woman deserves every to, woman be deserves happy to be happy and not waiting around for a man is that what it was? that's what i took it at perfect you got it that's what it is <laughs> um i heard that you were like really involved with the Obama and Election Day and getting people out to vote in a very personal, like, hands-on kind of way. I, I don't know. I mean... No, it was. Really involved, it was. But, yes, you were. But um, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was in out of the country, and I realized this was such an important day of, of my life and of the, my country's life and, mm -hmm. I mean, of our history. And for me to not be there was ridiculous, so I canceled some of my promo and I said I have to make it up and I, I came back to America and I went with uh, with Jay. We went around and, and they did rallies and we, we met all of the people that were standing in line for hours and hours and told them thank you for waiting and um, basically... How amazing is that? I think that's amazing. You're downplaying it but that's... Amazing. Thank you. I mean, I, my, my father... Um, my father was one of the first African-American students in his school, he and says. he had to be escorted to school. My, my grandmother marched with Martin Luther King. Wow. And, and for me to be a young woman, a young African-American woman that could do, even if it's just that little thing mm -hmm. I said, I, I have to, this is, this is important to me. So mm -hmm. I'm so, so proud of, of the progress that our country is making, and it's gonna keep progressing. It is. It's called Cadillac Records and Records, and she plays the legendary Etta James. Check her out. Here she is. 
Glad you can make it. Uh, get you a drink. Uh... What, you want me to just do it right here? Right now? <laughs> well, I am leaving town tomorrow. Yeah, baby, you don't have to be shy with me. I ain't you shy, fool. Don't be looking at me like I ain't wearing no drawers. It's just hard to do if you ain't in the mood. And I ain't in the mood. Girl, I have never seen you like that. That was no joke. Like, you're so sweet and clean and, like, virginal. <laughs> you, you know, that's her, her, what she gives off, like, you know, positivity. And she's like, you want some? What's up? You want some now? <laughs> like, how did you get to those, that place? You know, it was difficult. I, I have an amazing acting coach. Ivana and, Chubbuck. Yes. I studied with this woman. She's amazing. She really, really is. She is. And I worked hard. I put in the work, and, and I tried, you know, to connect with the character and I went and did research with um, women that were addicted to heroin that are making, um, are recovering right now. Did you see them kicking it? Did you see like um, how? I didn't see it in person, but I watched a lot of movies, a lot of yeah. documentaries and um, it, it's amazing because I, I'm, I'm always really happy and I'm, I, I believe that happiness is a choice and I yeah. usually choose the positive in every situation. So for me to walk around in that funk and to be that, that angry and yeah. that, have that much pain for, for those couple of weeks. Basically, I had to think about the most painful things in my life, things that I don't really normally think about, focus on. And it was difficult, yeah. but I had to do it to go to that place. And it's the, the best movie. Everyone, y'all have to go out and support this movie. It's a part of our history. <laughs> And it's a story that has to be told, and, and I'm happy to be a part the of soundtrack it. Comes on, um, the soundtrack comes out December 2nd, so you guys got to get the soundtrack, too. Well, I see you being doing this for as long as you want to Thank do it. You. And I know that you talk about um, wanting to be an icon, yes. that that's what you want. And I have to tell you, Miss Beyonce Knowles, I think you already are an icon. Thank you. millions and millions and millions of fans from all over the world. But there's a very special young lady here today whose dream is to meet Beyonce. And she has no idea that that is about to happen. So I'm gonna send Miss Beyonce to a secret location and then I'm gonna bring the girl out and we're gonna, get, gonna pretend that it's a whole different topic, okay? Like the show is not a Beyonce show, it's just a whole different topic. Everybody gotta play along, all right? Don't be going like to the little girl and you know, <laughs> I'll be doing little movements and things. Okay, so Beyonce is gonna go backstage and then you're gonna come surprise me. to young women who are dealing with some very serious illnesses, but doing their best to overcome them. Welcome, Jada. recently diagnosed with something. Tell me what you were diagnosed with. Yes, um, almost two years ago, I was diagnosed with a disease called multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. And it's basically when my brain tells my body to do something and it doesn't get the message. So um, I started with numbness, numbness from waist down. And then after a week went by, I was admitted to the hospital and I couldn't walk by myself. I couldn't eat by myself. I couldn't write. I couldn't do anything for myself. It was, Basically, I was starting all over like a newborn. Like a newborn baby. Yes. Well, you just walked the Tyra Show runway, so, and you did it very quickly. <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm 16. I just turned 16. You're October. 16 years old? Oh, so nice. I remember 16. That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. So, I know that um, the MS affects, like, your mood. Tell me about that. Um, well, some... I get a lot of mood swings, uh -huh. so I might be happy, and all of a sudden I'm sad and I'm angry, and I don't like hang out with friends because I might just get mad at them for no reason. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to just be a normal teenager nowadays. All right, now um, do you get scared sometimes? Because I have people in my life that have MS, and you know it's hard. It's hard sometimes. Um, the thing I'm most scared of is going back to how I was when I first got it, not being able to mm -hmm. walk and just to eat by myself and be normal. It's 
it was hard, mm -hmm. you know, and I just don't want to go back to that. Aww. So that's hard. Yeah. But you're so strong. Do you know that there's so many people that have MS and they're looking at you right now and saying, wow, look at her strength. She couldn't walk and she just like runway walked down the entire runway. You know, you're an inspiration. You are. And I know sometimes when you when you get sad, like what, what makes you feel better? Um, I love to listen to Beyonce. I love her. Me too. <laughs> Tell me what you love about Beyonce. Um, she's when I watch her on TV, she seems very humble and generous, and mm -hmm. I just love her. And when I was learning how to walk again, I listened to her music, and it just kept me going because I want to be me again. Her music really helped me. Oh, nice. And then she's jamming in those videos, too, ain't she? So. Yeah. I wish I could learn to do that one. You know, that move right there. <laughs> I've been trying. I really want her to teach me that, but I don't know. I Maybe one day. Uh -oh. I like the uh-oh. You like the uh-oh. Yeah. This one? No, the uh-oh. Oh, the uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh my God! I love, Have you ever thought about meeting her ever? I wish I could meet her. I went to her Destiny Child concert, but I never met. I love oh. her. Oh well, guess what? What? She's here right now. Oh! Say when you're feeling bad and what her videos and watching her and listening to her makes you feel like. Tell her. I, um, it makes me feel like myself again. Your first album and Crazy in Love. I used to love the uh oh when I couldn't walk. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to learn how to do it again. I just love listening to you. I love you. Oh, thank you. I just want you to know that you completely inspire me. <laughs> Definitely. And, and you fulfill me more than any any performance, any award, knowing that, that I can give you that inspiration is, it really gives me purpose. So I appreciate it. Beyonce has something for you. I do. Back there. This is for you. And there's a bigger one, too. Open it up, girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> A ready girl. This is my favorite color too. Now take it. Give me one. Yeah. 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 And the jeans. Oh and more shirts. Oh, Look at that. Non-stop. We'll be right back. She's gonna put. 